I think what's nice about these white rhinos, as you can see in front of me, is that um, they are actually busy horn clashing. So the one young one there is a young bull, and then also some older females. So he'll be sparring with these older females just to strengthen his fighting skills for one day when he needs to fight with a dominant male for his own piece of territory. As you can see with the little young one that was fighting earlier, he probably got tired of it and then decided to go and drink some milk um, at his mom. So you can see he's busy laying down there to get better access to the teeth. And the reason therefore is probably a little bit too big just to stand and suckle. So white rhinos, uh, actually the females have two teats between the hind legs and that just allows for the baby to get better access to any one of the teats depending on which area the female is standing in or even sometimes laying down. The use of fungus growing termites of the species macroterms. They are the most commonly found in South Africa. They are basically fungus farmers. They will collect grass and decaying wood, bringing into the mound that is at constant temperature that has a network of vents and tunnels set around a central chimney. Termites are a caster system, meaning they are divided into different roles within the community, and each plays a massive part of the survival of the mound. They are divided into the king and queen, secondary reproductives, workers and soldiers. These are workers that is currently building on the mount. Their role is to build and fix the mount when it's needed. In general, termites have a wide range of predators, from various ants to birds and mammals. Dog taunting goshawks are one of the more commonly found raptors here on Kapama. They're quite characteristic with their grey bodies and their very bright orange beak and legs. This one here is sitting on top of a small tree, so this is exactly how they would hunt. So they'll hunt from a perch and they'll then swoop down on unsuspecting prey such as small reptiles, like snakes and lizards, as well as small mammals and even birds. They also have quite long legs, so if for example, a rodent that they are chasing runs under a bush. They are quite confident and capable of actually running in after it to catch it. So as the gospel took off in the last frame, it actually went into a nearby tree and actually killed two baby doves. Unfortunately, we weren't able to catch it on camera, um, but as you see at the moment, he is up in the tree now feeding on his prey. Quite incredible to witness. Wow, did you guys see that? Let's see if we go around to the other side if we can catch him a little bit better again. This is pretty incredible with him sitting out in the open of the tree. Now leopards are known for going up into big trees like this and this is where their spotted coats will actually help them to blend in to the environment amongst the leaves and also the branches. Now this guy had a nice big meal, he's got a nice full stomach already so probably climb up into the tree looking for a safe spot to spend the rest of the day and maybe even just catch the last little bit of sunrise before the sun goes down. <laughs> 